All right, well, he'll have no fury like a Donald Trump scorned by the Republican establishment, including John McCain, for which he saved this little tweet. The very foul mouth John McCain begged for my support during his primary. I gave, he won. Then dropped me over locker room remarks to Arizona Republican Congressman Trent Franks. What he makes of all of this. Congressman, it's getting worse here. What's happening? Well, I, I guess I need to start out by saying that uh, I'm the last one that would defend the remarks of Donald Trump, but I think it's so desperately important that uh, the American people distinguish between the words of Donald Trump and the policies uh, of Hillary Clinton. To, to, to borrow an analogy, an analogy from a friend of mine, if my house were burning down and a fire truck arrived up outside and, and firemen jumped out and were trying to save my children and everything I loved inside, I wouldn't be as concerned about the maybe foul language they were using as they were wrestling with the equipment uh, that I would be uh, more concerned about the fact that they're there to, to save everything I care about. And that's the stakes here in this country at this moment. Have you and, told uh, Senator it's, McCain it's that, that, we understand you, that? Have you told Senator McCain well, that? I, that you know, and maybe others in, his, in the establishment, look, you don't personally like the guy, you don't personally like what he says, you might not like his demeanor, you might not like what he says about women, but he's our guy, we have to stick by him, what? Well, I've, I've said those things uh, pretty dramatically, as you might imagine. Uh, I think that uh, for Republican leadership to do anything that helps Hillary Clinton get to, into the White House is the last thing that supports this party or this country. The fact is, the fact is that Bill and Hillary Clinton, if they've done anything in public life, it has been to do for corruption what Stonehenge has done for rocks. And, and now uh, we, st we stand by and ignore all of that uh, when we hear someone speak in uh, obviously no, no, very I understand, ugly ways. I understand what you're saying, but uh, we, I, I always think that there's another piece I'm missing, Congressman, that either there is another date about to come out or that the, the, the leadership has heard there's more nonsense to come out, and mm. they're separating you know, themselves so far from this guy so they don't have any dirt on them or any problems in their own elections. But well, I think you probably have in their you're elections something there. doing that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I think you're, I think you're on to something. You know, I predicted a few days ago that Hillary Clinton is going to pos uh, tr try to do everything she can to continue this type of attack because she wants to do everything she can to hide from the real issues facing this country and because she understands uh, what is at stake. And, and you know, I, I, I chair the Constitution subcommittee in the Congress, and so I really looked at what Hillary Clinton's appointments would do to this Supreme Court and what they would do to the Constitution in the long run. And I remind all the Republican leadership that when we took our oath of office, we swore before Almighty God that we would support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The thing that would abrogate that oath in the most profound way is to do anything that helps Hillary Clinton get into the White House and put people on the Supreme Court that destroy the Constitution. That's really what's at stake here. And yes, these are challenging times for the American people, but if the American people don't wake up right now, uh, they could be sending their children down a very dark road where the light of liberty has gone out. Congressman, thank you for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir.